you guys can create rooms as needed for each of your deals. You're able to do that. So you don't have to contact mm -hmm. anyone. You just spin up a room and then the data storage that you have is just spread across all of your deals. So what's nice about this is you can create different stages as well for your deals. So if you did maybe have deals that weren't, you know, under LOI yet, or you didn't need a diligence room set up at all, you could still have kind of this deal card is what we call it, where you can have facts about the deal. And this is all customizable as well. So what you kind of want to be shown about the deal for you guys internally to look at, or maybe on the biz dev side, if you wanted to have, you know, cards made for different deals that you're looking at before they actually got under LOI, and then you created the diligence and data room part. So within like each of these deal cards, like I said, you can customize any of these metadata fields and updates. You can leave high level notes. So if you had a discussion with someone or maybe the deal's on pause, something like that. So you guys always have access to that. And then the groups as well. So the people that have actually logged into the room, you have all of their contact information as well. So it's kind of like a pipeline CRM tool for all of your deals. And like I said, when you click in, it'll actually go to the diligence of the data room. And that's what any external parties will see as well. But this is for you guys internally, just to kind of organize all of your different deals and projects. Like I said, if they have, you know, started the diligence process or they have not yet, you're still able to track everything.